Chief Olabode George, a former deputy national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, on Thursday, said the national leadership of the party should take disciplinary action against Ayo Fayoshi, former governor of Ikiti State, over his statement on the forthcoming Edo governorship election. George, in an interview with Daily The Independent, George said Fayoshi's comments that government, Governor Gordon Obaseki, the party's governorship candidate in Edo governorship, should lose is sacrilegious and a sign that he is working against the PDP's interests. He said, I was shocked when I read Fayoshi's comments that Obaseki should lose the forthcoming Edo election, Edo governorship election. That statement is absolutely sacrilegious. This is a man who came voluntarily into our party, took our tickets, and our people gave him the flag of our party, which is the emblem of the party. Now, Fayoshi now decided that he will lose. Is Fayoshi still a member of this party? Every sign of his shows, every sign of his shows that he's working against the interests of the party. George said, having benefited a lot from the party as a two-time governor, Fayoshi's statement is a clear testimony of ingratitude to the party that made him what he is today. There was a time you were chairman of PDP, PDP Governors Forum. You were once a governor. You had a problem. You went away. You came back into the party, became governor again, and served a Kitty State for two terms on our platform. Is this a good way to pay the party back? If you have every, I'll have anything against the decision the party has taken, you go inside and address it. You don't watch the dirty linen of your party at the marketplace. What he did was sacrilegious, unacceptable, and it is not done. I am taking and I am talking as a foundation member of this party who created the avenue into the heartland of the southwest. I did. And I will not see people trying to bring imbecility into the culture of our party. It's never done. You must learn to respect the party and its constitution. If we if he wants to get out, such thing should land him in the disciplinary committee. Speaking for that, George said Fayoshi is heaping curses on his head over his incessant disrespect and abuse of elderly ones, especially in Yoruba land. Fayoshi, in a recent interview, had said that he would send ex-president Olusegun Obasanjo back to prison if he had the opportunity to become president of Nigeria. He also said the former president has been making his speech and the present administration should make him face the law. However, George, who said Fayoshi's statement is, is a sacrilege that will come back to haunt him in his old age, admonished him to learn respect for the elderly as true bred Yoruba man. Fayoshi said when he becomes president, he will jail former president Olusegun Gombasanjo. You, Fayoshi, jail president Olusegun Gombasanjo, you are now the judiciary. Such rascality is unfounded and acceptable in the culture of Yoruba land. Fayoshi should stop this, this because the younger ones will repay him back for his disregard for the elderly ones. Who is the woman in being who has not committed a sin? If an elderly person like Obasanjo even did something wrong, it is not Fayoshi's job to say he wants to discipline him. You keep insulting the elders all the time. I will admonish him to go and read the book of Proverbs, which says those who go against their father and mother is a cause for life. Fayoshi may not know it, but is heaping causes on himself, George said. Okay. I think uh, Fayoshi has come out to see, oh, he never said uh, um, this man will not win. And he said back again that uh, Obaseki will win, but he should not disappoint or not betray the party because he, he believes that if he wins the election, he might go back to APC, he might decamp to APC. That means he does not trust him. That's, I think that's, that was what he said again after a body judge's uh, interview or submission concerning what uh, Fayoshi has said. You know that uh, all these people, <laughs> these politicians, you can't vouch for them or you can't even defend them because these people, they will still go back and 
and be laughing and be drinking and be popping champagne and you be there and be talking what what you don't even know because these people they have their own carcass they have their own whether it is cause i don't even understand them but i just believe that they they are not to be defended or they are not to be to be supporting because today they will say one thing another day they will say another thing well so it is because of a this uh, basic that is why this whole matter is coming up and of course we know what has been happening or the recently that a fire she has been making some statements and but the judge has already advised him on what to do okay where was body judge when fire she was insulting pmb Supposing somebody like Body Judge and other Yoruba elders uh, rose up and condemned the attitude of Hayashi, then he would have stopped disrespecting the elders. And that character of disrespecting elders is alien to Yoruba culture. And about and about a due election, I think Hayashi is talking sense. Body Judge cannot be sitting in the comfort of his house in Lagos and says he's supporting Obaseki. How much has he contributed to the re-election of Godwin Obaseki. Of course, he might not uh, be moving from pillar to post, but you know, West go West go a long way. West go a long way. Some people will be in position of moving from places to places. You can sit down and be saying, "Oh, I support you. I support you." You know, even if, if he says otherwise, it will have a very it will go a long way too. So I don't think he needs to be running up and down, but he has been able to offer his own advice concerning that. Well, people see things differently. You people didn't give a uh, fast out to the tax you collected, okay, from Obaseki, and you want the former to support the latter. Obaseki has lost this election. Okay, there's no need to bother a bad fire. She who ran a state a ground. EFCC customer, can he point to anything he achieved that we stand test of the time, test of time, while he was governor of a state? No, only... Nigeria with such people walk the streets or speak. Well, I totally disagree with H. Body Judge because the news I read about Fayoshi's comments about Obaseki was that Obaseki may likely go a uh, go defect back to APC after winning the uh, winning the election. Therefore, Chivola Body Judge should stop barbaric style of politics. Moreover, is having issues with Fayoshi's if he's having issues with him. Why didn't he seek for peaceful resolution? You know, I told you that these people mm, you can't even you can't even talk to their matter or talk on their matter because they all know what they are doing. Well, guys, let us hear your opinion. What do you think? Leave your comments below and let's know your thoughts. Thank you.